let's try to understand the performance gains by using string or string buffer a general belief among java developers are that string buffer always gives better performance as compared to string whenever concatenation is considered but in reality string buffer may or may not give better performance as compared to string whether there will be any performance gain with respect to string buffer will depend upon the type of concatenation happening if the concatenation is static then string buffer will not give better performance and many times may give degraded performance while if the concatenation is dynamic then string buffer gives better performance than string in general there are two types of concatenation of string one is known as static concatenation and other dynamic in the case of static concatenation the concatenation of string happens right at the compile time itself while in the case of dynamic concatenation it happens at the run time whenever we have static concatenation there will be no performance gain by using string buffer while on the other hand if we have dynamic concatenation then string buffer will give better performance let's try to understand more about this with an example within the eclipse environment i have created a new java project with name string versus string buffer within this i have created a package with name com.qspon.vishpa.string best practices the first class which we are going to see is a class with name static concatenation shown are the contents of static concatenation class within the main function of this class we are measuring the current time with the help of system dot current times millis which returns the time in milliseconds within this we have created a for loop starting from 0 to 8000 which will concatenate the string understand perform performance tuning for java with vishwa after making this concatenation of string finally we again measure the end time by using system dot current time in millis the difference between the start and end time will give us the amount of time required for this concatenation to happen 8000 times in the same way again by using start and end we measure the time intervals for appending the same string but now with the help of a string buffer we repeat the same exercise for 8000 times and finally print out the time taken by string buffer on executing the above class we find two outputs one corresponding to concatenation by using simple string and other by using string buffer as we can see the time taken in this case of simple concatenation by using plus is 0 milliseconds while that of string buffer is 47 milliseconds that is string buffer is taking more time for concatenation in this case let's analyze the same if you see the string which we are considering understand performance tuning for java with vishwa the complete string can be determined right at compile time since all the values are present within this string and no dynamic value is coming at run time 
In such cases, the JVM is smart enough to understand this string is complete and to remove the plus concatenation right at the time of compilation. Hence, it gives more performance when we consider using plus or simple string concatenation. As a result, the time taken here for concatenation by using plus symbol is less as compared to string buffer. We have created one more class named dynamic concatenation which will perform concatenation on a dynamic string. For doing the same again we make use of long start and end both of which we get the time and within this we take a string max random number and for 800 times we get the value of a random number by using mat.random convert it to string by using double dot value of and append the same to the above result string we measure the time by using this concatenation and print out the same on the screen in a similar way again we make use of start and end and within the for loop for 800 iterations we make use of string buffer object again we print out the time taken by string buffer so now let's execute this program and find out the corresponding output on executing the above program we get the following two outputs one corresponding to plus and other corresponding to string buffer and we can clearly see the time taken by string buffer is less as compared to the normal string concatenation by using plus. Let's analyze the reason for the same. If you see the above code, the value of the string is not determined at compile time. Since the max.random function will execute at runtime and based upon its execution the value which we get, we append to the above string. This is an example of dynamic concatenation in which the value which we have to concatenate with our string is known only at runtime. In such cases, string buffer will give more performance as compared to string concatenation by using plus. And in such cases only we should make use of string buffer. So the final conclusion by seeing these two programs are String buffer will give us better performance with respect to concatenation if the type of concatenation is dynamic. Next let's look more about Java concepts.